Oh, did I get that in time? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. So, chat, this is Pikmin Randomizers. You know, I played this, uh, played this a while ago. <clears throat> and it was pretty wild. So I'm going to finish it today because I only have one area left that is, like, completely untouched. I have one other area that has one part, and I have another area that has five parts. Once you get a second monitor, holy shit. I, I, I can't even, like, I can't even begin to describe how helpful it is. If you have, like, if you're playing a game or you're watching a live stream or something, and you have another monitor on the side, you know, you just go full fucking cross-eyed. But it's very helpful. Because, like, if I'm doing something, I have something else going on. Because... I'm one of those people who I can't, like, I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate and do something without also having something else open, which is really weird. That's a really weird thing to say. But sometimes it works against me because I get distracted easily. But, like, if I'm watching something, I have to have something else up. It's hard to give my full undivided attention to something because I feel like I've been using my attention for so much more. Which is not always a good thing. Alright, so quick question. Let's see, let's see. So there are a few parts left. There's the ones that are over there that require the Pikmins. Uh, that's the bread bug part, and there's the BD fight. So what we need is... I do need blue Pikmin. Okay. I have to hope... I have to hope there's no prog. Actually... I gotta hope there's no prog. Because if there's a prog, there's a problem. <laughs> the jokes. The funny boy. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Here's the question Is this moving? If that part isn't moving, then I don't know what it is. I gotta pay attention is all. Cause if that's not that's not moving, I don't know what it is. That's what it's the mm. <laughs> Well, I found out what it is. That's a hell of a lot worse than a snitch bug. Oh my god. Oh god. No, 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 no. That didn't work. Pick the grass, you fucking dumbasses. There we go. Pilot seat. That actually wasn't that bad. Need 25 for that. Let's get this part out of here. Ah. Uh... Guys, think about this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Give me. That's okay. That's fine. All right. Pilot seat. What's next? Um. I think I'm gonna leave the prog arena for last in case it actually is a prog. Because I don't know if I have to go back and get it. Problem. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Next up is over here. I'm not sure which direction they're going to go, but I have to be... Got to watch it. Alright. I don't need more Pikmin. Alright. 
there's a beetle in that water. You can tell by the ripple. So the fire guys is also count as enemies. So they get replaced. What they get replaced by? That Pikmin's dead. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that Pikmin's dead too. I am currently watching a beetle kill my Pikmin. That is really, really shameful. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Olimar's turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens if Olimar flies out of bounds? Something in there, okay. Uh Well Uh My Pikmin number is going down and I don't know what's causing it. I mean I have a feeling I know what's causing it. Ah shit. Shit 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 shit. Oh, God. What happened to them? Which way did they go? Pikmin? Guys? What did you walk into that got you killed so easily? Oh. Oh, that's what. Huh. All right, pay it no mind. Pay it no mind. We're just gonna get this, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Nah, 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 it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is okay. They got they got beat up by a bull bear, a mini bull bear, and a water dumple. Oh, that's one. There's like a yeah, there's a bee run trick they do in two where like they like fall they fall through the level and end up on where the blue Pikmin are, so they can get them without needing they can get them without needing the yellow Pikmin. There's also like a patch. There's like a patch that they made for that, that like for speedrunning, that guarantees that like it fixed, like apparently if you did that, there's a chance your game just soft locked and you just lost your run. And uh, surprise, people, uh, there are a lot of people who decided they didn't want to play the run because having to be, having a crucial part of the gameplay, just, you know, a crucial part of the run be, uh, just be like, oh, you can just lose your run because the game said no today. That's kind of lame. So they have like a, you know, they have a patch that makes it so you can't soft lock there. It's like consistent, which is great. But apparently it's not like fully accepted or something like that. I don't know the details. You guys are the smartest creatures in the fucking world. You know that? Oh my God. I hate Pikmin. I hate them so much. These creatures? Idiot. Absolute idiot. Huh? What's that? Oh no, I'm drowning. No wonder your fucking species is the the bottom the, the bottom of the barrel, dude. Unbelievable. Right, beat the shit out of that, would you? Alright, so here's the next plan of attack. First you cover yourself in oil. All right, come over here. Do not pick shit up. You don't need shit. Get over here. Oh my god. A red flower has been replaced by a bull board. Cool gear. Automatic gear. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, give up. Okay. Uh, Pikmin 1 AI is so frustrating, man. That's so frustrating. They're so stupid. Okay.
Okay. F 17 should be enough. I've never liked this part. But I see that due to the size... Due to the size of the part, I guess there's a reason why it didn't change. This is actually... Well, this might actually be the one from the poorest to hope, but this is like the part. I hope I didn't lose... I... I didn't lose the yellow Pikmin. Oh, based. Okay. This part is so precariously placed that you couldn't possibly have another, like, part take its place for a randomizer. The only other part that can take its place is the other one that's identical to it. Sagittarius. Yeah, this is... This is the one that's from the Forest of Hope. The Libra is the one that, uh, normally is here. Alright. Didn't bonk this time. Nobody's dead. Nobody's dead. Now here's... I might be able to get this last part. I need to take some of these boys, though. Don't give up. Try harder. Do your best. So if I get my three bomb rocks, right? Alright, I get my three bomb rocks. And I go beat up whatever's in there, no matter what it is. We don't, we don't need that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, gear's in. I can clear this whole area right now if I do this fast enough. Alright. Come over here. How much time do I have left? There's like about 13 minutes of a Pikmin day. Get your rock. Get your rock. Get your rock. Oh my god. Oh, he has already. That's why. Okay, never mind. Alright, come along. Come along, come along, come along, come along, come along. It's over... Over here, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that either. Hey, if it was a prog, I could just walk through the onion. Alright. What if it's you? What if it's you that has the part? Oh, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, come on, man. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Never mind. We're coming back tomorrow. Never you fucking mind. Tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is a new day. It's not like I can't beat that boss, but there's not enough time to kill it. There is simply not enough time to kill it. Any Pikmin get left behind? No, yes, no, no. Alright. Olimar's turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ow. I can't move. Oh, I can't move. Ah, ah, ah. Get it on there. These parts are required. One dead. Oh. Oh! Up the body count, up the body count. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare, you rat bastard. 
Yeah, that's right, you dirty rat. Get out of here. Hey, pretty good. Why are you up here? Excuse me? What are you doing up here? How can any- I can't even fight that. Not that I want to. <laughs> Come on, man. Alright. Wall. Omar is bleeding. He's bleeding internally. Alright, I got one more part here. One more part in the forest to hope. Come on, come on, come on. Nine seconds. Eight. Seven. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! That's my motley crew. I guess now we just stand here. It's safer like this. It's safer like this. Okay. Everybody's already at the onion, so they're going. As long as they're in the general range of the base, they'll, they'll go to the onion themselves. Which is something I actually didn't know when I originally played this. But the thing about this game is you get a lot of Pikmin who die by accident because they trip and they fall behind and they're stuck in some part of the level you don't and you can't reach them anymore and it's just it's just a great time. Why well, can't Olimar punch the wall with them? Do you know what that wall is made of? I I'm sure I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like maybe it's resistant to Olimar's punches. There's only 13 parts left. I, look, I always thought they were bones, to be honest with you. I don't know why. To me, they look like bones. I always thought that was kind of weird, though, you know? That always seemed kind of weird to me. Alright, let's finish this place off. Okay, so uh, obviously there's a part. There's a part in there. There's a part in there. I've opened the gate, so if a prog spawns... If a prog spawns in there, it's gonna work its way up here, and then it's, uh, job done. So, let's kill this. And when I kill this, I will check, and if the part is moving, and not in the arena, it's a prog. <laughs> that's... That's the long and short of it. Alright. It is not moving. Okay. That's fine. In that case, let's take a hit squad of 25. I have the entire day to get this part. It will not be that much of an issue. Come on, leave it alone. It's a mum it's a mamuda. It's a mum it's it's a mamuda. Alright. What does it even matter? That's not a boss. Greedy bastard. Alright. Alright. Amen. Rock wall, rock wall, rock wall. Fire geysers, no problemo. Grass, no problemo. Bull bear, no problemo. You can really just get anything you want here, huh? Okay. Pretty good. Pretty lucky. Look at that. Okay, alright. No prog. Oh my god, these beetles are so annoying. Okay. This is the boss. This is it. This counts as a boss enemy, I guess. Don't ask me, dude. That's, I don't know.
You can't even kill Pikmin. Look at this. Ow, shit, that hurt. Oh, get out of the ground. Massage machine. All right. Pick him up. No, 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 no. You come back. You come back. You come back. Okay. Peep this. There's a puff stool there. Okay. He's, he's where he should be. Is there another... I'm really curious. I have to see. If I walk... On that flower. Maybe it might be the wisp actually. Hold on. Or is it him again? It's him again. Okay. Oh, come on, man. What? All right. What? Whatever. That was, that was partially my fault, but that was also kind of bullshit. Okay. And now we can, uh, we can end the day when this is done. We can end the day when this is done. But just for shits and giggles, let's go look at the other enemies. Why not? Let's go look at the other enemies. See what, uh, anything crazy spawned. Just because I can, really. I'm done the impact site. Yeah, I did that last time. It was a puff stool. All right, that's everything in the forest navel. There's one more in the forest to hope. What? Oh. What, what? Wait a minute. Oh, right, yeah, those guys. I was like, why am I missing 10 Pikmin? You know what's interesting is in Pikmin 2, in Pikmin 2, there are a lot of uh, creatures that don't actually show up above ground, but they have Pikmin numbers attributed to them. Like, I'm pretty sure the Mamuta is one of them that doesn't appear above ground at all, but he still has, like, a Pikmin production number, and I think it might be because of this game, because he did have one. That's probably the case with, like, a lot of the Pikmin enemies that came from the first game. They already had Pikmin numbers, even if you don't see them. Like, the Wallywog, for example. The the white Wallywog only shows up in, un in underground caves. But it has a Pikmin number. Alright, well, I almost just died, but it's no big deal. Bulbor, Bulbear, Bulbor, Bulbear. Bulbor, Bulbear. Bulbor, I would love to see something stupid show up, like, in place of a fire geyser here. Like, imagine if Beady Longlegs fell here and just, like, walked off the map. I feel like the randomizer's smarter than that, though. Oh, look at that. How you doing, egg? Ow. Well, I found a prog. Wake up! I, um... What? What? <laughs> what the, What just happened? Stinky. It came out of the egg. Yo, I'm getting out of bounds right now. Yo, I'm winning. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Omar's winning. Ain't no way. Hold on. I didn't know Olimar could kill this one. That's kind of whack. <laughs> That's actually kind of whack. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna prove it right now. This creature deserves nothing. 
Look, you know, a predator on the verge of death. Look at my HP and look at his. I just, you know, this is this enemy only shows up once in the main game. I had no idea Olimar could do this much damage to it. Why doesn't it just step on you? Look at its legs. It's more scared of me than I am of it. But it keeps trying to like, you know, do that, but I'm in a spacesuit. I already can't breathe this, uh, this planet's like oxygen, it's poisonous. This planet's oxygen is poisonous. So that's why Olimar has his suit. He's got 30 days before it runs out. You know on the bad end of this game? Olimar's ship doesn't get out of the pl uh, the planet. So he crashes and he's like gonna die. So the Pikmin throw him in their onion. And he turns into a Pikmin. It's kind of, kind of creepy, you know? They turn Olimar into a Pikmin. But he comes out as like an Olimar shaped Pikmin. And not like a regular Pikmin. Like all the other enemies turn to regular Pikmin when you harvest their corpses. I'm about to win. Oh, I'm gonna win. This was a waste of time. But I just had to prove to myself that it could happen. Wow. I'm I'm just I'm just shocked that I was able to do that. <laughs> I'm just shocked. I didn't expect that. I really didn't. I can't skip. He can't hurt me though. He's he's afraid of me. There's a reason that enemy never came back. Well, there are a few enemies that never came back from the first game. A lot of the really weird ones never didn't return. Like the Mamuta came back, even though that one's kind of weird. But the only enemies from Pikmin 1 that did not return to Pikmin 2, there's Gulix, who you haven't seen yet, chat. That thing is very strange. Uh, there's a Smoky Prog, which is extremely strange. And then there's the Puff Stool, which is also kind of strange, but also not really. Oh, and the Pearly Clam Clam, but like that's. That one's fair because, like. I don't know, that, that enemy is just kind of like time consuming. It's not really an enemy, it's not that dangerous. So there's a, there's a handful of them. But I guess they were just like ones that were hard to utilize. Gulix is really weird in particular because you can only- I don't know if you can actually fight that thing without blue Pikmin. Because like its entire body is water. You have to throw it at a- You have to throw Pikmin at its soft, gooey spot. And then it like retracts and it makes my eyeballs hurt whenever that it does that. Seriously, it makes my eyes hurt. Alright, the part is actually very close. The current problem is that if a prog walks in, as they are fucking known to do, is that a puff stool? It sure is. Oh man. Come here, damn it. What is even happening right now? Hi, ay, ay. Finish him. No prog? No prog. No prog. Alright. No, that's... It's good. I'm just gonna leave those guys there. No prog. Color me surprised. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Now we open the fence. There's the bread bug. What's in there? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, that's. What? He walked through it! Rules for thee and not for me. I'm gonna pick my back, damn it. Dumple hell over there. Okay. 
All oh, right, the armor cannon beetle didn't come back either. Hey, I mean his larva did. It's another fucking Mamuta, dude. What? <laughs> ah, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's it's honestly not a big deal. It's not a big deal. The bosses in this game are significantly harder. I agree. The way the way the bosses are in Vanilla Pikmin 1 are like especially Emperor Bullblacks, but that's a given because he's the final boss. He's a pushover in Pikmin 2. He's a hell of a pushover in Pikmin 2. Bro. Crush. You're gonna cause problems, alright, and you're gonna die. You can almost respect the enemy's decision to rush into a group of like 50 or so Pikmin. Cause like. You know, on one hand, that seems like a bad idea, but on the other, I've watched my Pikmin just sit there and get devoured, as if there was no actual issue. What's the UV lamp? Alright, so you don't actually have to kill the boss in that arena, it's just protecting the item. So I can probably just walk around that thing. Now, now yeah, I guess the, the armored cannon beetle and the puff still count as boss enemies, but they're not really bosses, they're, they're not. But yeah, beady long legs in this game is very dangerous. Beady long legs is very dangerous. The burrowing snagrits are pretty dangerous, and Emperor Bullblacks is pretty whack. Come on. So according to Louie, the Mamuta tastes like chicken. What's really weird about that? So apparently. That's like, you know, I don't want to say it. I don't want to. I don't want to make it too weird or anything like that. But apparently, like, I've heard that be ascribed to like human flesh as well. And, like, you know, isn't that just kind of weird? Inedible tastes like chicken. You can't eat him, but he tastes like chicken. Isn't that kind of weird? Anything that's kind of weird? I think that's kind of weird. Human tastes more like pork. Oh, I don't have a source on that, thankfully. <laughs> Look, he didn't even care. He didn't even care. Hmm. Well, isn't this a nice change of pace? I came here on day two and I had two progs. One couldn't reach me, but it was still two progs. Now I come here on this day and everything is A-OK. -okay. See, it seems like the closest thing to humans on this planet are the, the wraiths, like the water wraith and the plasm wraith. But uh, the Mimuta are very strange because they're just these awkwardly shaped rock things that don't really, like, hurt Pikmin at all. But what's really weird about it is then you have the Smoky Prog. And the Smoky Prog is apparently like a deformed Mamuta larva. That's really weird. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do now, chat. I'm gonna take a couple yellows. I'm gonna- and I'm gonna explore. Let's go take a look. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother with that. Let's just take a look at what's going on. This lovely world of ours. What's up here? Anything cool up here? Like a spider? There's nothing here. Huh? Huh? Alright, sure. No, nothing here. Dumpies. Peleposis. If a prog had spawned up there, it would have, uh, you know, come down. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. I didn't- I didn't know he could show up. Hold on, I gotta go- I gotta go see that one. 
fight it. Nah, that's only the final boss. It's only the final boss of the game. I should have known. You know, just thinking about everything I do and everything I don't do and everything I do do. This guy followed me all the fuck way over here. Throw, you bitch! Yeah, great. Well, don't keep me waiting. All right, well, two of my Pikmin are in the ground. One is unaccounted for. Bro. Get, stop. They're working together. It's a conspiracy. Why is one of my Pikmin all the way over here? Well, that was an accident. Come here. First Wallywog I've actually fought. Not the first one I've seen. Well, yellow Wallywog. Now, there's a trick you can do where you just rush them with, like, the C-Stick. But one time I did that and it didn't work and I never did it again. He keeps sliding a little bit. Die already, would you? Bring it, Dumpy. Alright. I forgot I knocked this rock wall down already. Alright. So there's a fire geyser and something else. Because, of course, there's something else. Yeah, that's just the final boss. Don't worry about him. Huh. Pay no attention to that creature. Nothing here. Oh, there's a Pikmin back at base for some reason. Well. There's not enough time in the day to fight this thing. I just kind of wanted to see what's going on over here because this is supposed to be three Snagrits. Hey, there's Gulix. Okay. Pop. Ow. Yeah, how you doing? Well, this is certainly a thumbnail. Ew. <laughs> Uh. That looks so wrong. Yeah, that's the final boss of the game. Uh, it is very tough. I don't, I don't even want to think about fighting that thing in those circumstances. Oh, that's what happened. A snitch bug showed up. All right. Don't worry about the mushroom fella. All right, I got my part. Oh, we go one more area. I didn't realize that. I, I I guess I should have expected that, but I honestly did not know that the emperor himself could 
you know, randomize. That's kind of funny that he can. I guess the give and take of the randomizer is that if you roll something on a bad day, you can come back another day and it'll change. But you know, <laughs> not always, things don't always go your way. Hope has begun to well up. It's been 10 days. I got, I got two more areas. I might not, I have to bet, we'll see what the final boss is, but I gotta do this first. All right, time for Blue Pikmin to do their job. Now, first things first, I gotta get that part over there. That is the 50 part, oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my, I have to get 50 yellow Pikmin up that thing? Oh, that's just great. Well, th this is the whole day. Here we go. All right, well, we're about to have a moment. A moment in Pikmin history. This is the heaviest part in the game. It takes 50 Pikmin. Why are none of my Pikmin throwing? Come on. There's going to be so much death. Oh my god, there's going to be so much death. <laughs> Chat. They're going to die. They're going to die. Oh my god, no! I can't save any of them! <laughs> Team. Team! Team! <laughs> oh, war, man. War never changes. The body count. The body count. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is gonna fuck me up, dude. I'm straight fucked up from this. What could I have done differently? There was no saving them. Oh. <laughs> Oh, god damn. Alright. Can you guys even pick this thing up at this position? I don't think you can. Oh, they can. They float. That should be enough. Get this... 30 good men died for that part. Yo, it's my... It's my engine. Bro, it's my engine. I need that to, like, fly. Dolphin's main engine. It was pure luck. I found this piece first. <laughs> yeah, alright. Nothing in the egg chamber? Alright. That wog is in the perfectly normal spot. Oh, you're not doing this, are we? Ow. Alright. 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 My ship's back. Get 
Get building, boys. Need you to make that bridge. Need you to make it. Nothing scary over here. Nothing scary over there. Okay, alright, alright, okay. We're doing good. Everything is going... Everything's going good. I need some bomb rocks. So I'm gonna take some yellow pikmin with me. Okay. Alright. Pikmin has different music when you get close to enemies and stuff. It's, it's a nice touch. Dun 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 dun. Although it also plays like like for everything, so kind of loses its effect sometimes. I hate these things so much. This enemy shows up like in the forest of hope after a certain day, and then nowhere else. And the randomizer is just throwing them everywhere. Holy shit, dude. They're like Mr. Worldwide. Dude, it's dead. Get off of it. That Pikmin hates that creature more than I do. Look at that. Hold still. Hold still! I'm going to shit a brick. Ah! Oh! Got him. Yeah, I get sticky, idiot. Get down here. That Pikmin's still wailing on him. Jeez. All right. Let him go, dude. Let him go. It's over. All right. Here's a rock wall. All right. Let's see what we got. Got four. I'll throw two and see what it does. So knock it down all the way. Okay. Alright. I want to get the engine because the Mamutas won't really do anything there. So I can get it while it's safe. Okay, hold on. Shock absorber, okay. Okay. Just get the bridge. Get the bridge, get the bridge. Okay. This game... This game feels good to multitasking. Although Olimar is only one man. What a what an event. Sometimes it sucks because you spend so much time clearing away and then the day's over and then you don't have any more time. There's three Mamutas in the way of the engine. Now here's what I'm worried. I'm worried I'm gonna get the engine and the game's gonna just end. Cause like it gets the first part and it registers just the engine. I don't think that'll happen, but I I don't really know. I didn't I didn't think about this. Alright. It's all right. These guys are passive until your dumbass Pikmin run over and engage the enemy. Okay. And yeah, we're good. Oh, I forgot there's fire there. Uh, you'll make it. Uh, holy shit, they made it. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm the one who said it, but I didn't think they'd make it. They're fine. They're gonna touch him and he's gonna be like, whatever. Look at that, see? He's so passive. I love him. Let's go get these boys. I'll just take the... Are they like... Yeah, they're gonna make it here anyway. Alright, there's the engine. The ship looks so weird without it. There it is. Yes, yeah, this is supposed to be the first part. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. 
You tripped. Get up. You're going to die. Would appreciate it if you didn't die right now in this moment. Actually, you probably need to die because I think that shock absorber out of here. Sorry. I feel bad, but you tried to kill my Pikmin first. I'm glad there's a consistent way to kill these things. But obviously this method kind of falls apart when there are other enemies around. It's a good solo strat. You're dead. Farewell. They're almost done. Look at that. Look at that bridge connect. Look at that. Mm. But I gotta get the shock absorber as well. There's a fucking egg in the way. Why is there an egg in the way, dude? What? Excuse me? Wait, if I hatch that, what happens? Last time... Wait a minute. Last time I hatched an egg, it was a, it was a mushroom. You're dead. Yep. It's a blowhog. Okay, he just, he came out. I didn't do anything to hatch that, he just hatched on his own. That's the miracle of life, chat. Hell of a buck on that one. Whoa. Why does he make a funny noise? Why he make that funny noise? All right. There's quite obviously a bull bear in the way, but it's okay. Cause the plan is to do this. Forty-nine Pikmin. That's gotta be enough to get this, right? Pick it up. Alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. So here's my plan, chat. Here's my plan. Alright, I have enough time to break that walk brawl down. And do some damage to the other one. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put these boys away. Okay. Got a lot of fallen soldiers right now. Okay. We're gonna go get some bomb rocks. We're gonna do some damage to those walls. Then I'm gonna go get my blue Pikmin and we're breaking that wall. It's gonna be a happy, fun, eventful day gonna be a good day and I'm totally gonna have enough time to do it all don't even worry about it oh you guys found a fuck ton of bomb rocks all right do not touch do not touch do not touch all right I need two for the rock wall on the side and I need nine on the one there. Breaking that one open would be very convenient. Okay. Hog squeezed. Huh? I got eight. One, two, three. Three. Right. Two. Why is one Pikmin dead? Wait a minute, what? What happened? Who died? Excuse me? All right. 
wall down. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Single file, single file, single file. Single file. And we're good. Good day. Alright, pay no attention to the fact that I lost 30 yellow Pikmin because the game put the heaviest part in one of the worst spots it possibly could. Let's not worry about that, okay? Let's not even- let's not even think about that. Understand that I have seen like seven Mamuda in a row now. And I just need- there's just too many of them. They need to go. Wait, what? Where- where, where is he? Oh shit, well. Left behind one guy. Okay, 31 yellow Pikmin died that day. Never mind, 31 of them died. Jesus. <laughs> Where was he? Where'd he go? Alright. Time to get to work. I see the slug generator up there. Interesting, interesting. Now remember, I can't effectively do anything until I'm... S Gotta go. Guys, what are you attacking? He's made of steel. All right. This is honestly fine. This does not actually matter. Why are two of my Pikmin dead? What? What happened? I don't understand how my Pikmin die, man. What happened? There was no rock. He didn't get crushed. Where'd he go? There are no enemies here. This is concerning. Oh, hold on. There's a frog. Frog is okay. It's times like these where I really miss the P Red Pikmin's enhanced attack power. Now, the Armed Cannon Beetle is capable of killing your entire team with rocks, but it's also really easy to stop the attack from happening in the first place. And he just beat his ass. I know he's considered a boss enemy, but he's not that frightening. Alright. Got an analog computer. Okay. Let's get that up. There's the spring. Okay, this is gonna be a little weird because there's a part over here that requires like blue and yellow Pikmin. But if the flower is if the flower is randomized, then it's gonna be hard to get this to work. Yeah, the flower is not there. The flower is that thing. I have to get yellow Pikmin up there. But how do I do that? Oh, I guess I see how. But that seems really hard. Well, that's the last part I worry about then. Because that's going to be a whole fucking part in itself. Because <laughs> normally there's a yellow flower and a blue flower. So you're supposed to come up here and make yellow Pikmin. And then throw them down, get the part down, and then convert them back to blue Pikmin. It's a whole, it's a whole process. But clearly, since the flowers are randomized, that's not what's going to be happening. Uh, where am I? I'm lost. 
Okay. So I'm going to open the rock wall. Okay. There's nowhere to, for them to land before they die. That's the whole reason there's a flower up there in the first place. So you can only get up there with blue Pikmin. Alright. There's only... That's the last rock wall. After that, bomb rocks are not... Like, they're just for attacking enemies. Which is good. Alright. Six more. Don't get me wrong, that's good. But, like, I just... You know, I don't really use bomb rocks for attacking. I use them for breaking walls. Shortcuts, if you will. I can get the part up top as well with this. Get that... Yeah, get that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I need 20 or so yellows for that, but I also need to clearly take out the... Take out the baddies. Oh, there's a few baddies. Alright. Here's the planogram. Alright. Here's the planogram. Put them all in. Put them all in. Get 50 left on the map. We take those red Pikmin and we go to town right now. Right now. You guys want to see numerous Pikmin casualties? Go to a different stream. I'm about to say solo this shit. No Pikmin death. No one will die. Not under my watchful eye. Not again. It's like chat, you know, you know Resident Evil 6? When Chris is in the bar and Piers goes and finds him. That's gonna be Olimar after the events of this game. He's gonna return home, but he's gonna be like, I watched those creatures die. I'm the reason those creatures died. It was me! I did it! Sometimes you do this and it doesn't work. I swear to god, it just doesn't work sometimes. Alright. I don't need Puffy. Wow. Kind of insane how no Pikmin died, huh? Get up. Please get up before I eat my words. <laughs> this is going well. We need you, Chris Redfield. That's fine. I need to get the exciting spring. Gravity jumper. Alright. That works. I don't know which way they're gonna go, but both ways are cleared of enemies, so... We're fine. Alright. I need a... Uh, let me see. 30 should do. I think... 30 yellows should get me what I want. Dude. Come on. Don't worry about him. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I don't remember how many Pikmin are needed for the the slug looking generator thingy. I actually thought that was an enemy the first time I played this game. Because when you do the impact site, you can see it. You can see the thing over on the side. I thought it was an enemy or something. And that was like its core. Turns out it was a part. Oh, it looked like a slug to me. One second too early. God damn it, come on. 
30 of these boys. Also, it might be time to replenish the yellow numbers. Okay. Gravity jumper acquired. Okay. <clears throat> RE6 is a pretty fun game. It's just very strange. That That's all. It's just a very strange game. Well. This is beyond awkward. Just, just, yep. Yeah. Pluck, pluck the grass, my guys. Pluck the grass. Come on. Here we go. Finesse. Finagle. I am just... I'm just awestruck, man. I'm awestruck. Why? Is it? Is it my fault? Is it my fault the Pikmin don't ever go the way they're supposed to? I feel like maybe I could be better as a commander, but I also think maybe they could be better as uh, literally anything. Oh, that was slick. Oh, okay, that was slick. Damn. Damn. Look at you go with that arm. <laughs> uh, I'm, I impressed myself. Chad, if you can't impress yourself, who can you impress? Look at that shit. i crazy. Yeah, come down here, dumpy. Come down here. All right. Build me a bridge, will ya? Hmm. It's cause uh, I moved them towards me with the, the, what do you call it, with the C stick so I could just throw right away again. Positron generator. All right, we'll build that up. Okay, all right. Maybe I get the yellow boys, get them back up there. Let me see what I can do. Bulborbs are called chappies. By who? Who's calling them that? <laughs> In Japanese. Oh shit, really? They got my part. They're eating my bridge. Fine. This thing is worth so much Pikmin. I'm giving it to the yellows. I'm just getting it out of the water. Oh, the, see the egg spawn. The fitting that some Amuta there, huh? The prog egg spawns there after a certain number of days and it stays there for a while. All right. All right, it's out of the water. And now I'm giving it to the yellow Pikmin. We're building the numbers back up. For no other reason than because I can. That's all. I don't need this many yellow Pikmin, but I feel responsible. So it's time to do my civic duty. Get this boy to the onion. Get him to the onion. Post haste. What is going on here? You know what? You can have that. I don't really care. Alright. One. Yep. Pikmin discovery. Five. Five. Seven. All right. And now the boys are going. And that'll be the whole day. Look at that. Nah, come on now. Nah, don't worry about that. Come on now. Okay. All right, all right. 
So what's left? Uh, there's two parts over there. There's the part in the middle. There's only four parts left? Jesus, that was fast. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Smokey, calm down. There's only four parts left. There's so much time. One of them's buried in the water. Another one's gonna be a bit of an endeavor. But it should be fine. Yeah, pump the numbers up. Pump them up. Pump them up. Come on. So slow. You know, chat, when I finish Pikmin 2, you're allowed to do whatever you want in the game at that point. So I, uh, I just decided to keep cycling between all the different areas until I had, like, see how many Pikmin I could create. Well... I made it to about 4,000 blue Pikmin. Because of course, of course I did. And every, every day, every day I get the same letter from, uh, from Olimar's wife saying how she loves him and wishes he would finally come home. But Olimar is just not coming home. Olimar continues to stay at the Pikmin planet, creating more and more Pikmin to completely destroy an ecosystem. And every day he gets the same letter from his wife, begging him to return home. Creature defeated. Since you have infinite days, eventually you run out of uh, unique letters, so that's all you get. You just get spammed. My wife. Alright. <laughs> he literally, like... It's, it's like he returns, he gets all the treasure, and then he goes back to the planet anyway to do what? Fucking what? To do what? So I had 4,000 blue Pikmin. 4,000 of them. What parts am I even missing? I'm missing the top of the ship. I know that much. Large cluster of parts here. Yeah, I already have like over half of them. Look at those yellow numbers, man. 93. The yellow's numbers now out uh outdo the blues. That's that's ridiculous. Alright. Alright. The blue Pikmin were the easiest to work with because they could go in water. So in areas full of water, they can get the most parts, or like, uh, you know, and get the most bodies. There's a, oh, oh, we get a stinky egg. Ooh, ooh. What's it gonna be? Stinky egg. All right. Well, let's take. 70 of these boys out into the water. That's it. A dumple. That's it. I actually really like that the eggs have random enemies in them. That's funny. That's actually funny. I'm still wondering why that pup stool like died. Oh, another egg. See, the moment I let my guard down is the moment something crazy comes out of this fucking egg. You know? Yo, they're... Yo, they're killing it. I... You fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew that would happen! That means the Smoky Pog could be on the map wandering around? Yes, actually. It, it literally did that on the second day. Or, well, not second day, the third day. There were two progs walking around because they replaced the, the Snagrits. Because there's three Snagrits. Oh, speaking of, look at that fella. Oh, how about that? Oh, he's the one with the pot too. Yes, good. He's waiting his turn. Ow. 
All right, well, boss fight. That is so weird, dude. Oh, that is so weird. All right. What? He didn't even swallow them. Get out of there. I can't. Stop eating my friends! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, he missed. What a wiener. Oh, he missed again! Yeah, you win. Yo, the piggy bank! At long last, I found the final part. My secret safe. And it's as full as ever. This is actually the last part in the game. It's optional. If you can believe it. You don't need it. <laughs> Alright. Bird had money to it. Who would have thought? Okay. Alright, well, I don't really know where... I don't really know where these guys are gonna take them, but... Hmm. I still need more blue Pikmin for more... stuff, so... I'm hoping they'll be okay on their own. Now let's get the part... Let's get the rest of the blue only parts, and then I can focus solely on the last part next time. Okay, there's a boss arena. Okay. All right. I don't like that there's nothing here. Why is there nothing here? What's hiding in the grass? Nothing. Okay. Dude, everything's gone. My bridge is gone! What? They took my bridge! Come here. Come here. Oh, I actually got on him. Wow. Oh, this is ill suited for combat, dude. Ill suited for combat. He has to die. flower there you go there you go okay they took it out I, I I spent so much time building that and they just they just got rid of it like it didn't even matter I know that noise <laughs> wait a minute Wait a minute, I know that noise. <laughs> uh... All right. Okay. So here's, here's what's happening in there. All right. Here's what's happening in there. No, that isn't the bull blacks. I need a hit squad of 30. Oh. I'm surprised it's playing the music there before the thing even showed up, but I know what it is. <clears throat> It's making up for all those Mamutas that were originally replacing them. That much is for sure.
That's not who I thought it was. All of my Pikmin just died. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. But it's fine. That music is supposed to be the spider. Beady long legs. Why is Gulix in there? I don't know. I don't know, but I just lost 30 blue Pikmin to that. Or 30 red Pikmin to that. So now we're going to borrow the spider. And we're going to give it to the reds. Well, that was, uh... That was my bad. That was 100% my bad. But he spawned on me, and those Pikmin died instantly. There was zero chance of recovery for those Pikmin. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these guys out of here. This this bug gives a lot, if you didn't know. It happens. It happens, you know, it happens. Sometimes you just, you miscalculate and people die and you just have to hold that. They don't bleed, thankfully. Pikmin don't bleed. Alright, let's go beat up Gulix. So this thing only shows up on... It's either even or odd number days in the impact site. It's a very strange enemy. As you can see, it kills everything really fast. <laughs> like, really fast. I'm pretty sure you can fight it without blue Pikmin, but blue Pikmin are immune to its, uh, the fact that it's, you know, it's living water. What the hell in here? You have to throw your Pikmin at its gooey bit. And it does that. And it does, like, no damage. Oh my god. What the hell? Trying to touch me. Boing. Yeah. I didn't do any damage. Oh, I guess the more distance it is. Ow! Get him right in the soft membrane. That'll show him. Perish. That shit makes my eyes hurt. Like, just imagine your eyes, like, you know, doing that. Know what I mean? I don't like that feeling. Where did my Pikmin go? Dude, they flew. Flew to coop. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> What is this name in Japanese? I highly doubt it's Big Scrotum Water. Big Scrotum Water does not seem like a good name for that creature. For various reasons, of course. Give me back my fucking bridge. Alright. It's gonna take everything I got to just get that one part out of there, huh? Okay. This is fine. <laughs> the mitochondria. It was the powerhouse of that. Single cell organism, dude. How does that creature eat? What does that creature even do? It just exists. It's water with a membrane. That's it. Pick it up. The Omega lol. There you go. Alright. It's Mizu Mochi or Water Mochi? Well, Mizu is water. Mizu Mochi. Bro, that's so weird. It's all weird. All of it's weird. Oh. 
Can I get this? I don't think I can. That only takes, like, 40. Oh my god, that takes 40. <laughs> I just remembered. I know where that part is. This is one of the first parts you see in the forest of hope. I can't get that today. There's not enough time. Well. Alright. So what's the part I'm missing? There's two parts over here. That's the radiation canopy. What's the last part I'm missing? The one that Emperor Bull Black or whatever Emperor Bull Blacks is going to be, what he has. Because normally it's a secret safe. Hmm. I'm doing a run through in my head. Trying to think of all the machine the parts I don't have. I have the seat. I have the UV lamp. Pikmin creatures have a nickname and a proper name. Isn't there usually another thing floating up next to the, the dolphin? Maybe that's what I'm... Maybe that's what I'm missing. Oh boy. Speaking of missing... I have the analog computer and I have the Wonder Guard satellite, but I can't remember. I feel like there's two things that are usually floating up by the dolphin. Wow, he got flung far. It's over here. There he is. Whoa, camera. Hurry, gather your Pikmin. So, I could have gotten that other part if I didn't have to fight, like, two bosses, essentially. If I didn't have to fight two bosses, I could have got another part, but I'll take what I can get, you know? Blowhogs. They do have scientific names, actually. In Olimar's logs, Olimar's logs in Pikmin 2, they all the Pikmin creatures have scientific names. It's actually really cool. It's a nice touch. I like how much uh, they try to make this world feel alive. But there's also just so many questions about how these things work. There's a fucking spider who's melded with machinery to have a, a built-in machine gun. Like, how do you even, how do you even begin to explain that in a way that makes any, like, remotely any sense? But then you have creatures like the Water Wraith. The Water Wraith, where their bodies are located in an alternate dimension. And you have to, like, hit it with a purple Pikmin so its real body combines with, uh, with your dimension so you can attack it. Like, that makes any fucking sense. The scenery to plan is someone hostile and now it's not strikes but surprisingly serene. Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I started thinking there are some parts I do not need. Yeah, there's five. Holy shit, look at that red Pikmin decline. 36 dead, 50 sprouted. It's okay. Hmm. Alright, two more. So I know where they both are. The radiation canopy takes 30 Pikmin, so I need 30 yellows. I need 30 yellows for that, which means I obviously need some buffer room. And I need 40 blues for the uh, Eternal Field Dynamo. So we're gonna do 60-40 here for some buffer room. I am jumping the gun. Oh. Oh, my red boys are back. I'll get them in a bit. Foolish. Let me get the... Yellow spotted mackerel. Oh, hold on. We're bringing those red boys back from the dead. Right now. Return them! To me! Okay, good. 
All right. So yeah, in Pikmin 1, if you didn't know, uh, when Flower Pikmin die, they leave behind seeds, which is just kind of obnoxious, to be honest with you. It's a little more obnoxious than it is helpful, but it's fine, you know? It just means the boys are back. They left behind their greatest treasures. Now it's up to me to not lose them again. They're gonna go so bar far back in the pecking order of the onion that you'll never see them. What do you think Pikmin number 4000 in the blue onion was doing? What do you think he was doing waiting his turn to come out and get to work? I wonder about him. Alright. Oh, well, there's shit happening again. There's always shit happening over here, huh? Man, I hate these stupid things. Back in you go. Alright. Come here. Come here. You are wasting my time. You are wasting my time. Why is this fucker so hard to hit? Got him. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Alright, 40 yellows. By the way, chat, I finished writing my uh, next video, which I will get to recording maybe tomorrow. And then I will get to editing. And then maybe I will have a channel in which to upload it on. That would be great. I wonder what finishes first. Me? Or that? Four fucking days, man. Sick of this garbage. <clears throat> Won't take too long. Swoop in right now. Do it. I hate this creature. Dude, how am I not hitting you? Oh. Okay, so here's how this is gonna have to go down. This is gonna be really strange. But I'll show you exactly what it is I have to do. You're not gonna like it. But I'll do it anyway. For you. Alright. Man, I would love to see YouTube look at my uh, my appeal form and be like, "Sorry, your channel has violated guidelines. Where you're not you're not getting it back." Could you imagine? Chat. I can. There are less swear words in those videos than I have fingers on my hands. There is absolutely nothing in those videos that violated any content. And you know what really pisses me off about it? Is the email I got where like told me they quote unquote reviewed my content and deemed that it, it broke rules. That is unfucking believable. I refuse to believe any human. I refuse to believe a single human being actually looked at my content and was like, oh yeah, this is breaking this is breaking rules. We gotta We gotta get rid of that. Is this going to work? Oh my god, that's not going to work. Oh, this is going to take some elbow grease. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> shit. There's no way you just died to fire and water. Bro! How am I gonna kill this thing? Fucking attack it! 
Okay. Well, I, uh, that's not happening. So we're just gonna get the other part and try again tomorrow with hopefully a better hand. Okay. You can't punch the blowhogs dead in this one. Unfortunately, they're too thick. See, look at this. So this is unfortunately something I cannot kill. I need a, a I need a good day. Shit, man. I need a Well, actually I have one idea. This is a really bad idea, but it's an idea. Let me see. I still need the platform clear, even if I try to chain, like, save throws. Alright, this is gonna be a really bad idea, but let's see if it works. Alright. So, what I did there would have worked if this game was good. Get out of the water. Bro, get out of the water. Stop. All right. Get him. Yo. Yo. We the boys. All right, hold on. I still need the blue Pikmin to clear that off. Oh, this is going to be a bitch. But this, I might be able to get this. Okay. All right. If I, like, I'm gonna have to play, like, really reckless. I'm gonna have to play really reckless with this, but if I, I, can, I can do it. I can do it in this day. And if I, if I don't have to come back here, I'll be, you know, be, be better. <laughs> be better if I don't have to come back here for another day for this one part. Okay. So, the problem right now is I can't use the out-of-bounds area to, like, drag them across. But also, if I throw my yellow Pikmin up there, they're gonna be like, Huh? And then they're gonna grab the fucking Blowhog, and then they're gonna walk into the water and drown. Thirty. 
I need to do this 30 fucking times. I've already lost count. Chat. How many? How many has it been? I've lost count. Go until I have 15 left. That is so many, dude. That is so many. Look, if I could just get the part down and it stays down for the next day, I'll take that. <laughs> this is so slow. <laughs> Listen to this prism horn. What is God? The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. One survived. Survivor! Those Pikmin sucked at their job. I've just lose yellow Pikmin. That's all this is. This is just a lose yellow Pikmin stream. <laughs> That's all it is. Well, the fucking blue Pikmin were supposed to help them out! Instead, one blue Pikmin helped, and then the other were just like, they just watched. Assholes. That's what they are. Now I have to come back in here again and do that all over again! They were idle! There was 45 of those fuckers down there! I left them there for a reason. Fiery blowhog. Cock creature. There goes my yellow numbers again. 187 Pikmin have died. This is just great. This is just good! 7-Eleven! Day 15! Give it up for day 15! Oh my god. Alright. Have I successfully killed everything now? Let's just go. I pray. I pray that nothing troublesome is along the way. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, everything seems to be dead. I don't know why everything seems to be dead. What's that? It's a frog? That's actually fine. He'll come off the platform. Two frogs. I'm fine with that, honestly. He'll come down. That's the enemy you want to see.
I'm shocked you didn't die. Wouldn't it be funny if I went back to my base and there was a frog just chilling there? I haven't seen one all stream. You know, frog fans are not eating good right now. Hmm. There was like five of them last stream. I killed two of them. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> that was my fault. Oh, I did it again! Oh, no! What have I done? What have I done? Okay. Get ready for the longest, coldest. Here we go. All right. One. Hold a Pikmin, Olimar. Two. Three. I'm going to go mad. Oh my lord, I am going to drive. I'm going to go insane. If I miss one of these, I have to go back to the onion and get a new one. Do not miss. Imagine if this was the 50 part item, chat. Could you imagine if I did this for 50 yellow Pikmin? <laughs> I already did it for 50 yellow Pikmin and 30 of them died. What's 30 more? God damn. All right. I think you can do this. I honestly have no idea how to do this otherwise. Hmm. I'm just waiting for one of those little bastards to go, huh? And try to grab the fucking stupid thing in the water. I thought about it and I realized right away that if I try and do that again and any of them die I'm not having that so these are moving get these out of the way We are doing this so slow, so methodically. All right. One. Hope you're having fun, chat, because I'm certainly not. <laughs> Ugh. Next set. Half the day is gone.
Half the day is gone. What a final part. All right, lads. All right. Stupid mushroom. It is a stupid mushroom. Wow. All right. You've done your job. I'll come back for you guys. The bow sprit, not the radio shig canopy. That was the cockpit. All right. So here's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna come back for them, don't worry. I'm gonna come back for them. But first I gotta get this part to where it needs to be. And then unlocks the final trial. And then I'll come back and I'll end the day with them so they can walk through water to get to the onion with me. Hey, it would have been fine if it wasn't for exactly what you see here. Come on now. Come on now, it's not my fault. Everything was going well until a distant spring pulled out a part that takes like eight minutes. Let's just go take a look around while I wait for them to get in there. Yo. Yo, new egg just dropped. Open up. Open up, open up, open up. Open up. Wow, that's lame. That's so lame. I designed it. Ship's looking good, my guy. All right, I'll go get the yellows. Another Mamuta there. Okay. No, I'll go get the yellows. Just wanna, you know. It's always fun to take a look around. Yeah, let's see you taking the sights. I wanna see what's in the Gulix arena. Final boss isn't gonna take that long. Come on now. It's not even gonna be an Emperor of Blacks chat. Like, come on. It's gonna it's gonna be like a fucking Mamuta again. That's gonna be my final boss. I'll just kill the Mamuta and then we're done in the game. <laughs> all right, it's all good. There's no danger anywhere. Hold on, there's the boss arena up there. If it's a prog, prog's no final boss for me, man. Come on now. I was kicking prog ass. Why do these bastards eat my bridges? It's so weird that the music for BD Longlegs is playing there, but a Gulick spawned. I wonder why that is. Maybe he was there and I just didn't trigger him. I have no idea. Anyway, that took the entire fucking day. Hmm. And now we can go to sunset. And now my yellow Pikmin are back with me. You see that? You know, I might not even be able to get to the boss arena. Final trial is like, you have to do a bunch of Pikmin related stuff to even get over there. Which, if you're not fast, if you're not fast, take some time. I might need two days for this. But this is it. This is el, el finale. Courage. Now the funny thing is, this last part, I'm pretty sure is one that's mandatory to leave the planet. Because I have all the optional parts. I have the UV lamp, I have the... I have the space float, I have the massage machine. 
So like, even if I were not to get this, I would I wouldn't have enough parts to leave. <laughs> Cause I didn't I rolled a I rolled a mandatory part in here. Hmm. Yeah, I take an entire day to do the puzzles myself. And then I, I use the extra day for the boss fight. Because the boss fight can take a while if you don't, like, cheese it with bomb rocks. Anyway, there's going to be enemies here. Hmm. I just feel like maybe I got the short end of that stick, you know? Oh, Roger, what are we going to do about this? Well, I guess the first thing I can do is kill the frog. The frog does not give a shit. All right. do I do about this? Nice job, idiot. This is my life now, huh? This is my life? Stop attacking its legs! Holy shit! I'm going to scream. Get down here. Get down here. Get down here. Get down here. Where are you taking my Pikmin, dude? <laughs> oh. Oh. Do it. That's right. I know you couldn't resist. You stupid asshole. Holy Christ. Where are three of my Pikmin? They're behind the red onion. Well, that took almost half the day. Now how about we start with those, uh, Puzels? What do you say? Yeah. Let's start with them uh, puzzles, yes. 
Look at that. Those are all fire geyser replacements. I am going to lose a Pikmin to that. Get up there and make that bridge. All right. It's okay, I didn't need that quarter of the day. I didn't need it. Yep. 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 It's all good. Don't worry about it. It's alright. It's okay. You know why it's okay? We're gonna use that arm cannon beetle and we're gonna make more. Me and you, we're gonna make more. Let's just poop this box. Good job, team. There you go. No, it's okay. It's fine. Watch. We're gonna take that arm cannon beetle. And we're gonna have all our Pikmin back. Look at that. Yeah. See? It's no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picking related discovery. It's a good discovery you made there, Captain. Yeah, yeah. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come here, guys. It's time to get some bomb rocks. Bomb rock time, yeah! Come on, get out of the water! Pretty good! We're gonna do this fast. Yeah. I got one genius over here. All right. Wow, good thing I just did this for the last like eight minutes. Rumble de bump. Pick him up. See? I'm doing it big right now. Okay. Maybe we're not doing it big. Bro. Put the rock down. I just can't believe my Pikmin sometimes, man! What are they doing? 
fine. It honestly does not matter that much. It could be worse. It could obviously be worse. Alright. Cross the bridge, you numbskulls. Come on. We're doing it. Mr. Final Boss. What are you doing up there? Oh, Mr. Final Boss. Who are you? I hope it's like... I hope it's like a sheer wig. Why? Not again, dude! Not again! My red Pikmin! Oh, my fucking red Pikmin! I did it again! Why? No! <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Ugh. Every time. Ow. Ow. It actually does take damage if you beat the shit out of its core. Can you stop touching me? Ah, it was the computer. Interstellar radio, that's what it was. Pick it up. Oh, okay. Your final boss was Gulix. Gulix has killed more Pikmin than anything else in the entire game. Because it just spawns and it turns the water and it gets around all of my Pikmin. My red Pikmin are dead. I'm so tired of my red Pikmin dying like that, dude! Alright. Don't give up. Final boss didn't take that long at all. If it was a prog, we would have known. It would have been trying to get out of the room the whole time. Well... That's it, chat. I did it. I did it. I got to see the spider, at least. My search can now cover a wider area. My guy, we're going home. Look at that ship. How many reds died today? They were drowned. They touched a creature made of water. Maybe that's why. You see how fast they died though, chat? Like, they died instantly. There was like no, there was like no actual way to help them before they died. You have no time to save anything in this game. In Pikmin 2, you have some time. In Pikmin 1, they're just, you might as well just count them fucking dead, dude. Goodbye, creatures! Hmm. I don't think they'd be able to survive. Although, that said, in Pikmin 2, the white Pikmin and the purple Pikmin are in the ship, right? Like, they're in the ship. What do you do with them? What do you do with them when you go home? Do you just, like, let them out? And just say, like, goodbye? <laughs> what happens to your purple and your white Pikmin at the end of Pikmin 2? Look at all these onion colors that have never been used before. How many different Pikmin are there? I only found three species of them. God damn. Well, that was fun. Although, every time I play Pikmin, you know, I have fonder memories of it. 
I mean, I like the game. I I like the game a lot. The game is great. Fun game. But holy shit, the way the Pikmin work. The way the Pikmin work in Pikmin 1 is so, so confusing. It's too... I don't know, maybe they try to make it too more realistic, but they just, they trip. They get, you know, they naturally curious. Oh, god damn. Total Pikmin lost 283. 994 sprouted. 30 out of 16. That's pretty good. I'll take that. That's pretty good. So yeah, those are all your parts, and uh, you see the blue ones there. The blue ones there are parts you don't actually need to beat the game. Normally, the secret safe is the last one. But for me, it was the interstellar radio. You need 25 or 30 to leave. Apparently, you need the Libra and the Sagittarius to leave. Don't ask me why you need that. That has nothing to do with the ship's flight capabilities at all. But whatever, what do I know? I don't care. Ugh. The purple and the white Pikmin don't have onions. That's what makes them weird. They themselves don't have onions, so it's like, how do those creatures exist? And then in Pikmin 3, they were like, Lamau, and then they just don't exist at all. I mean, they exist in two-player. If you play two-player, you like, there are white Pikmin and uh, purple Pikmin, but they don't appear in the main one. Instead, you get rock Pikmin and uh, wing Pikmin. And I like the wing Pikmin. I like the wing Pikmin, but I think the rock Pikmin are stupid. Because they're rock. They're just, they're just rocks, dude. How am I supposed to get excited about throwing rocks at the wild? Like, I've done that in Pokemon. I did that in Pokemon, and and they didn't like that anymore. In early Pokemon games, when you get the Safari Zone, you could throw bait, or you could throw rocks at them. And then later on, they were like, hmm, how about mud balls instead? Nope. Well, they have onions in the P3 mission mode. Do they? I never actually did the mission mode in Pikmin 3. Every Pikmin 2, like, uh... Well, I can say every, as if I played that many. But Pikmin 251, for example, made the purple Pikmin show up really late, and also significantly nerfed them. They're, they're really good. Because they're strong, like the red Pikmin, but they also have stun. So they just throw a purple Pikmin on something and it's probably dead if you got a stun. Because each individual Pikmin has a chance to cause it. So they're really nutty. Although I never used them because you need a hundred of them for that one treasure, so I never wanted to lose them. Because otherwise you have to go grind them and it's just not convenient to grind them. That's the part about the white Pikmin and the purple Pikmin I dislike. Is the only way to get them is through those, uh, the flowers. The flowers and the underground caves. I might play Lands of Torture. I don't know, though. I might try it out, but I highly doubt I would actually attempt to play it seriously. Because you can tell with a name like that, it's not, a. Uh, you know? <laughs> with a name like that, it's definitely not something that you just, uh, you can just throw up there and be like, yeah! And now we get to watch the best player in the game. Migrant Lithopod has developed a stronger carapace than its relatives. Look at this guy. Beady long legs. Waxy secretions form this creature's distinctive armored shell. Waxy. Look at this, look at this debug ass looking room. Bread bug. This creature's thick hide protects it from most attackers. Thick boy. Dude, the way that this Olimar is playing right now, the bluish hue of its feathers distinguish it from the burrowing snarrow, which isn't even a creature that shows up. Candy pop. Candy pop, bud. Could this be the next step in Pikmin evolution? Like the Pikmin themselves, as many mysteries. And then it was, because Pikmin 2. That dude is fighting the one Pikmin, and he's winning. Dwarf Bull Bear. A Bull Bear at an early stage of development. In its life cycle, this specimen appears to be nearly fully developed. Look at this. He goes from soloing those Bull Bears to just losing to these guys. Look at this shit. He's got three of them! 
dwarf bulbor. Although similar in appearance to bulbors, these belong to a totally different species. Yeah, they're bread bugs. I remember that guy. Bleh. Emperor Bullblax. This massive grub dog buries itself when hunting. Fiery Blowhog. This creature expels a combustible phosphor that ignites at moderate temperatures. How do you breathe fire? I hate that thing. There it is. The swooping bitch bug. Ugh. This rare species uses its antenna as wings. Why he do? There he is, Gulix. There he is. Gulix. A watery gelatinous membrane protects this creature's nervous system. That creature makes me nervous. Honey wisp. Oh yeah, prism music. This creature collects nectar for the larva waiting in its nest. Creature's like not even alive. Iridescent flint beetle. This forager stores undigested pellets in its stomach for winter. How do you know that, Olimar? You've been here for 30 days. Max. Mamuda. This creature seems fond of flowers, but only for their decorative properties. Pearly clamp clamp. Didn't he, actually, that enemy didn't show up at all. Pearly clamp clamp. Though beautiful, this mollusk pearls are thin and fragile. Give you a 50 Pikmin, though. Pellet Posse. Whee! Pellet Posse. The sparsely growing plant is able to crystallize nectar into round pellets. There he is. Puff Stool. Foolish. Many consider this walking fungus a delicacy. Who's many? Who has ever eaten that thing? Puffy Blowhog. Surprisingly, didn't see this guy very much. Instead of breathing fire, the species uses its hydrogen to float. It's crazy. Louie. Louie's one guy, though. Sheer grub. Males of this species are purple and have an armored head. They also eat you. And those are the sheer wigs. That's shock absorber. Sheer wig. The males of the species are able to fly, but the females remain underground. You've never seen a female version of this thing, yeah. Oh, there he is. His eyes are a different color. Smoky Prog. Thought to be a malformed larval mamuta. I don't know what it is, but it's poisonous. It literally just drags toxics. Spotty Bull Bear. This rare subspecies of Bulborb has a certain indefatigability. The fuck does that word mean? Wow. Spotty Bulborb. This nocturnal hunter feeds mostly on small animals returning to their nests at night. Water Dumple. These guys are actually closer related to the Bulborbs. This aquatic creature is a close relative of the Bulborb. I don't know how, but okay. Wog Paul, the yellow Wally Wog is the last creature that, uh, part of this, by the way. This creature appears to be a newborn yellow Wally Wog in tadpole form. Is there a single child who knew what that word meant? I am 26 years old and I don't know what that word means. <laughs> Why did he do that, Wally Wog? This creature's coloration results from remaining sheltered in its car ca cavernous dwelling. I understand what the idea in fatigability, but like, what does that have to do with that creature? After evolution led to the development of its specialized jumping ability, this amphibian actually lost much of its ability to swim. Peekman. The happy end. I'm not happy. I'm livid. 40 red Pikmin died. And I couldn't- I could've stopped it. I could've stopped it by checking on my own, but I ran straight into a Gulick spawn and all of my Pikmin died. Could you imagine if I had spawned a Gulix any in other places with all my Pikmin and they all just like exploded like that? That would be so bad. That would just be so bad. But anyway, chat, there you go. That's Pikmin. That's Pikmin Randomizer. Pikmin Randomizer is pretty cool. Fun, uh, fun different way to play Pikmin. I enjoyed it. 
changing up the enemies, making you have to approach things a little differently. It's pretty cool. That said, it kind of shows why some enemies are where they are and not elsewhere. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, because it was exciting. It was very... It was very exciting. I, I enjoy. But that's enough Pikmin for now. I don't think there's one for other Pikmin games, but if there was, I'd probably check it out at some point. But yeah, it's a pretty good randomizer. Pretty easy to set up, too.